My name is Tate Lytle. I'm teaching at Fremont Elementary in Lakeview, Oregon. I was born about a block and a half that way, <laughs> Lake District Hospital. I had my grandma as a kindergarten teacher in this building. Went middle school and high school here, so I mean, I've been here basically my whole life. Went to New Mexico State, I did a PGA golf management program, it came with a marketing degree. Teaching was always kind of something I thought about, but never really thought of being like a, a real opportunity that I would get. And I was talking to my mom one day on the phone, and she told me that they were hiring here. And I called uh, my old sixth grade teacher, now boss, Mrs. Warner, to see if I could interview for a job. She kind of grilled me, but got an interview with her and uh, Katie McNeely and had the job the next day. It's been a ton of fun to mentor him. It's been a ton of fun to teach with him. Tate's just always been the, as easygoing as you see now. He's always just been very mellow and very easygoing, but a huge heart. I applied to ORTC because good way to represent my small community. And then obviously the, the money helped pay for more than a third of my schooling. Our different like book studies and round table discussions that we've had there were good discussions and actually felt like I was able to add some input just because I've taught here for two years and uh, went to school here for 13 years. I mean, it been in rural for my whole life, so it just seemed like a good fit. When we first talked about where he might be the happiest in the elementary setting, I really thought that he might want to do about fifth grade and little older kids. He said, no, I want to try little kids. So he went to first grade to start. And, and he just thrived there. He just is so patient when they're asking him the same question five times in a row. It was just a great fit for him. And then last year he said, I really need a kindergarten teacher next year. What do you think? He said, I'll give it a try. I only have 14 kids. That's one good thing about Lakeview is we've had a lot of small class sizes. You're able to do a little bit more with the kids. It's a fun class, a lot of different personalities. Last week, uh, I had a couple kids. They were kind of being snotty. And I look over and there's a few of them giving me the hearts. And I'm like, what are you doing right now? He's like, it's just because we love you. I'm like, oh, well, thank you. Probably not the time, but uh, appreciate the, <laughs> the gesture. Love you too. I've never taught anywhere but a rural area. You gotta make do with less, and you gotta pick up some extra pieces here and there. And, but it's nice, I mean, I know every teacher, K through six, personally, I had a lot of them as teachers. His grandmother was a teacher in the west side of the valley, and she still comes in, and it's really cute because uh, Grandma Carla comes in once in a while and bosses him a little bit in his classroom about what he should be doing. She taught here for 34 years, I want to say. It's fun to see her back in her element. She's got a lot of different strategies, and attention getters and stuff that she's taught me. I teach because I have a lot of fond memories in these buildings when I was a kid. And I just want these kids to have the same positive memories about grade school that I do, and while also having them progress in their math and reading and sciences. But I also want them to have a lot of fun because they're still five and six years old. I bet I could name 60% of the people walking around town or more. People that don't live here don't quite understand what exactly like you is, because it is kind of a little drive-by town. You could drive through in about five minutes. Growing up here, all the family, my roots are here and really nowhere else, so it's nice to be able to positively impact the next generation of kids here in Lakeview.